This Cash Manager Rural tutorial will show you how to set up the online banking facility in Cash Manager, import and code the bank transactions, and bring the coded transactions into the transaction screen. First, you need to access your bank website and retrieve the transaction file. The file type should be either a CSV or a QIF file, and if you need help, you should contact your bank. In Cash Manager, you need to make sure that the online banking option has been set up. To do so, go to Setup and scroll down to Online Banking. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the banking product and choose your bank from the list. You can also set the transactions to use the original note from the bank or to use the note attached to the Cash Manager codes. Now that you have set up the online bank option, you can either click on Import at the top of the screen and choose your bank from the list, or click on the Load button at the top of the screen. Select the correct file by clicking on Browse and locating the file. I have created a folder on the C drive called Bank Transactions to Import and saved the files to this folder. This makes it easy for me to save the files and import them. Once you have located the file, click Open. If you use more than one bank account in Cash Manager, you need to make sure you select the correct one to allocate the transactions to and click OK. You are now in the Load Bank Transactions screen where you can allocate category codes and, where possible, extended codes to each transaction. The Load Bank Transaction screen displays important information such as the transaction date, the amount, and other party and note details. Each transaction must have a category code before the list can be brought into the Cash Manager transaction screen. If you click on the OK button while there are transactions left to code, a message will appear which prevents the transactions from being moved. The date and amount figures are greyed out and cannot be altered as they relate to actual transaction movement for this bank account. However, all other information can be altered to suit your requirements, such as altering the other party details to suit. To code your transactions, highlight the category field that applies to each transaction. Click on the drop-down box and choose the code that applies to this transaction. Alternatively, if you are familiar with your code list, you can key in the first letter of the category code into the box. When coding stock transactions, the number of stock are required in the quantity box, except for pool payments, where a quantity of zero can be entered. It is important to add the quantities to your transactions as this will enable you to gather accurate information from the Livestock module in relation to stock purchases and stock sales. If you don't have enough time to code everything in the list, you can suspend your work and come back to it later. To suspend your work, click on the Suspend button at the top left corner of your screen. You will be advised that any changes will be saved and to click Yes to continue, your changes are now saved. You will be taken to the transaction screen and if you want to continue coding your transactions, click on the Load button and select Yes to continue with saved work. While coding transactions, you can alter the notes to suit the type of transaction. For example, while this is a fertiliser transaction, I want to show that it was a deferred amount. Finish coding the remaining transactions and making any alterations as necessary, and once you're happy with the coding, click OK to bring them into the transaction screen where they will appear in the list. These transactions will be marked with a plus symbol in the page column, making them easy to identify as having been imported from the bank. This is the end of our tutorial. For more information on this facility, visit our website www.crssoftware.co.nz 
contact our support help desk on the number provided or email our team on the address provided.